Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new video here, back on Bloodborne. And we're going to continue from where we left off with the Weapon Spotlight series we just started. Last episode we did the Rakuyo, and today I figured that we're going to do the Siren's Blade. I was going to do the Blood Letter, but um, it actually takes uh, quite a while to level up strength these... Oh fuck, that was a bit unwanted there, mate. So yeah, so it actually um, takes its time to level up strength on these levels, and like level 100, f uh, 100 something, what do you, 143, and I don't have enough strength to really max out the blood level and show you its true potential. So I decided to do the Simon's Blade, and as you can see, the Simon's Blade is S and S with skill and blood tinge, which both I have at 40, so I figured I'd do this. So it does stack C with Arcane, it's, it seems like most of the weapons from the DLC stack something with Arcane. But nothing too big, so we don't have to worry too much about it. Either how, I have got Arcane on thir or 20, I think. Yeah, 20. Um, so yeah, so we've got the same blood. We've got the same gems as the Rikuyo last episode. And it seems to be okay. Uh, I haven't really tried this weapon uh, too much. It's probably the most unique weapon in all of Bloodborne, just simply because it's a bow and arrow. And uh, unlike the other weapons that can fire kind of thing, this one actually does some damage while firing. As you can see, not not extreme amount of damage, uh, though if we charge it all the way up, I think it does a bit more. I mean, just, there we go, 350 for it does uh, it does use an arrow every time we fire it, obviously. But um, the cool thing is that you can fire it with R1 and R2. Obviously, R2 is in the charge attack, and it does a lot more damage, and it even knocks them back. But it still only uses one uh, one um, silver bullet up. So if 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 you're not in like a tight situation. Then it's probably worth charging them up instead of just spamming the bullets away because you're going to be using this, the same amount of bullets anyway, uh, and you're going to do more damage. So if you're not in an extremely tight situation, and I, I, I recommend that if you are in a tight situation, you probably just switch to the blade version, which doesn't do bad damage. It's slightly slower than you would imagine it to be, to be honest, in my opinion. It doesn't seem to like swing that fast. You got to wait in between swings. Kind of feels a bit like a great sword in that aspect. Uh, it shouldn't really be, but. It's not too bad. Uh, what's the R2? Oh, it's that's not bad. I didn't. I've never really actually seen the move set, so we're gonna try some of that out here. So as you see, the R2 charge attack is a spin to win, and the second strike actually does a huge amount of damage. The first strike probably does about I don't know. Not, the first strike does about 200, but the second strike does at least 500. Pretty cool. There we go. 500 there. There we go. Um, I thought, like I mentioned the last episode, we were on New Game Plus Plus, and I thought I was ready to go into New Game Plus Three, but I forgot we didn't actually do Old Yarnum in this playthrough. So well, that's what I'm gonna do now, uh, just before making the game even more unnecessarily hard. So we're gonna be doing Old Yarnum this episode with this. Uh, what we're we doing? Gotta be careful of this guy. Not forget about him. Uh, as you've noticed, I've, it's probably been about a week since I haven't uploaded. Uh, i got a few reasons for that. I'll, I'll explain in a second. So the first reason, uh, I was doing my uh, driving test and all that, just to get my driving out of the way and driving exam. Uh, I did that and passed that, no problem. So uh, I wanted to kind of concentrate on that. I was doing a few lessons a day and all that shit, just to get out of the way. And that's all that I'm done with, so that's not a problem anymore. That's one of the main reasons I wasn't uploading lately. And the other reason is obviously it's Christmas and I was with my family and girlfriend and I wasn't at home a lot of the time so I didn't really want to rush the videos when I didn't really have time uh, and that's the second main reason. Uh, I'm kind of at home now for one or two days, maybe not too long so you probably only see this video, like this one video and then there'll probably be about, I don't know, another few days without me uploading because of New Year's Eve I'm going to go to my girlfriend's house with family and all that. So. I hope you can understand that, but once once New Year's over and all that, then it'll be back to normal, no problem. Is there not? I'm sure there was like a way. Oh shit. Oh, gotta be careful. I'm sure there was a way to like hit him with the arrow. I think I did it accidentally once. Oh, half of these guys. I'm not sure how I did it. Maybe it was like. Okay, can we get the. Hmm. How did I do it? Oh, there we go, it's L2. Makes sense. I, I just want to check how much damage that does. Probably not, I'm probably not a lot, I'm guessing. I want to get the big guy out of the way first. Running out of bullets here. There we go. Oh, no! Oh, fuck. 
Right, get some more bullets. I don't really want to kill it. How much, how much health did that take away? Right, I'm, I'm gonna get rid of at least two of these guys. Before fucking this up. I only want to see how much damage the um the arrow does. In it. This weapon's not sure. I don't think this weapon's gonna be too good for PvP. I don't really have time at the moment to do some PvP, but I'm sure I'll test it in some video. But um, yeah, I'm guessing it's not gonna do exactly too well. PvP. Can you get out of the way so I can hit attack the big guy behind you? Okay. Now I want to see how much this arrow does. Okay. Uh, not much of a move set. It's just like a single swipe, and that's it. About nearly 200 damage. That's okay, I guess. <laughs> if you're in a really tight situation and you do have um, happen to have the bow in your hand. So, yeah. Uh, other things to talk about. There has been a slight um, patch to Bloodborne. I think it's 1.09. I put a few interesting things, actually. Um, one of the things being you can now acquire Blood Rocks from the Insight Shop. Which is really interesting, actually. It takes... I think it's like still like 60 insight, which is a ridiculous amount, but you know, it, it's okay because like if you just complete the game normally without skipping much, uh, you end up 99 insight and at the end of each playthrough you can probably pick up another extra stone which is or blood rock, which is pretty interesting. And one of the other changes was that you can now get the blood chunks for 20 insight instead of 30, which is also pretty good. I'm not really testing the weapon out here because I'm scared to... I just want to... Am I going to die? I don't want to die. Oh crap. I've been skipping a few of the enemies because I want to just activate this shortcut because I'm probably going to die against this boss one or two times. It's been quite a long time since I've fought him and and it's a new game plus plus. Like it is one of those other typical bosses that once you've done it in new game normal then you, you just don't bother fighting it after new game plus so. It's been a while. Uh, yeah there, there was another there's another few changes to the game, like really minimal ones, but I can't really remember. Uh, there's a change to some of the weapons, which um, I think now some of, the, some of the weapons take more stamina or something like that, I can't remember. I read for it really quickly, but uh, the two things that caught my mind was the insight thingy. The insight shot with the bloodstones and stuff. Oh shit, what am I doing? I don't want to be using arrows up this close to the enemy. There we go. Not bad down. It doesn't use that much stamina up either. It's the only move set I haven't really figured out yet. What about the sidestep one? Yeah, the typical upper swipe, kind of like most of the weapons. Uh, you can leave you alive. See if we can take out this crystal lizard. For now, it comes in handy for this kind of stuff, I guess. If they better get away. Damage isn't brilliant, but it's doable. Oh shit! Out of ammo. Um, probably not going to live that long in this boss. I don't think I'm going to go with the bow and arrow strategy because um, the damage is probably going to be so minimal. Let's see if we can take it out with the Simon's Blade. It's probably going to be quite difficult, but yeah, we'll go at our best shot. Let's see how much damage this does anyway. Oh, well, it'd help if you actually hit him. I'm going to do it. Oh my god, what's that? Oh, we get a jump attack with the arrow, bow and arrow out. Nice. Oh, we missed. <laughs> Fucking great. Okay. Okay, we test that now. I don't think we're gonna. Unless we... well, I don't know. Maybe useful for this boss since he kind of like gets a... gets quite far away accidentally sometimes. Let me just do this. It I don't know because it 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 does. Oh, okay. That's the evolved attack. What happens if we evolve the other way? Oh, ooh, that did. That's pretty cool because that's like really really fast. Like, hit him, hit him. Nope, maybe not. Hit him. Yeah, there. That that arrow seems to do quite a bit of damage, actually. Oh, oh the interest... Does, I take it that arm uses a bullet up? The, like, the transformed version of the arrow? I want to test that, thank you very much. Right now. Yeah, I wish it does. No, it's not bad, actually. Really fast. What am I doing? <laughs> Sorry mate, that's an accident. See that's when you need the bow and arrow out, but you never really happen to have it out there. There you go. Now, woo. Nope, missed them. Some interesting combos then. I mean the moveset isn't exactly that variant, but when you can quickly do that, that's pretty cool. It's like they're getting away from you or whatever in PvP maybe, like your oh, 
Ah, uh, I keep forgetting. Okay, I actually hit him with the arrow then with the R1 uh, attack. Interesting. Like in PvP, maybe you're in a combo and they like step back to go and heal. You can quickly switch and put an arrow in their face. That's probably quite interesting. Maybe. Damage isn't too bad, to be honest. No, no ammo. I was about to do the thingy, but didn't have any ammo to do it. Oh crap, don't do any ammo. Oh, I wanted to try that one, but it's probably not going to be that easy, so I'm not going to waste my time with that. Okay, so it looks like if... I'm guessing it's like if you're close to it, if you're at melee range and you press R1 twice with the arrow out, then it will hit him with the arrow. Is that what triggers it? I can't really think of anything else. Or maybe... Oh shit, I'm gonna die off here. Have I got any antidotes? Probably hurry up and equip them if I did. Yeah, I got a few. Um... I don't think I'm going to do it at the, this rate because I've got one blood bow left. I'm trying to concentrate here just to, so I don't have to do this full level again. Poison, I should probably use an antidote if I get time. No, probably not gonna get time. So close. Oh, thought I was gonna do it first go. Right, this time at least we'll have some more blood bars and we should do it no problem. And I think we're gonna have 20 silver bullets as well. I just wanted to see, so if we've got these out and we do this. No, don't hit. I thought maybe like if you was holding forwards when you press the the R1 button when you uh, have the bow and arrow out maybe the second one would like hit him with the arrow or something physically but it doesn't look like it is maybe it's like maybe it does activate when you are like touching them in melee range I don't know I have to figure that one out I kind of just realized that I don't have 20 Estes flask or Estes flask blood bows at all I've got seven I've got enough ammo Oh, my damage is pretty good. I'm actually quite happy with the damage. I know it obviously sticks scales really well, but yeah, not bad. It could be slightly faster, but I guess I don't know. I'm not going to complain. It can swap into a, a a ranged weapon. You can't expect like everything. It's completely understandable. One question though: Can you parry with the arrows? I'm guessing you can't. I don't know if I should really be trying this right now. It's not the best. No, I don't think you can. Don't make. It wouldn't really make sense if you could. It's probably it probably it's probably more damaging if you just spam the R1 instead of, of open it. But it just looks so cool. The range on the melee is pretty cool as well. I mean, the sword short, short ah, the sword ain't exactly short. Hit him from quite far away. Maybe we should. As soon as I thought we should use a few ammo up, gets close. Oh, poison, not good. No. Oh. Right, I'm gonna get some 20 Estes flask. Another thing, obviously, you, you, as you can see, we can't enchant it with the empty plasma, empty plasma shell, uh, which is kind of weird. I was actually expecting maybe you could. It would be pretty cool, like if you could enchant the bow and arrow version, and like the bullets or the arrows would come out like like enchanted blue, which would look sick. But uh, it's a shame you can't do that. It's kind of expecting you could, but it's fine. Now, hopefully, we should. Should, we should actually be in this time. I got twenty of each thing. Well, I've nineteen. Just made sure I got in the door. Full health. And yeah, uh, obviously, clearly, if you're gonna go try hard against the boss, the sword version is the way to go. Because I want 
Uh, I want to see if I can hit him with the the transformed attack. This attack, but it looks really hard to hit him because it's, it's like a, a thrust attack, but it takes ages to do. Especially against this boss, probably not the best boss to try against. It's like so fast, oh, I can't hit him now at all. Fine then. This 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 weapon is so perfect for this boss. Just for the times like then, there he just like tries to get away from you permanently. Oh crap! So yeah, guys, uh, I think this weapon's actually pretty good. I mean, it's pro if you're gonna go through the game try hard and then you're struggling through the game, it's probably not the best weapon to be used or anything like that. But if you want a bit of fun and you're skilled enough at the game, I guess to kind of be challenged and try and get past the, or through the game with any weapon, then yeah, I think it's one of the most fun weapons you'd probably use to get through the game. Uh, I mean, it's not exactly a terrible weapon, not at all. I mean, it could be slightly faster in the melees and all that, and the range shots could be slightly more damaging, I guess. But yeah, apart from that, it's one of the coolest weapons in the game. So um, that's just my opinion. Let me know what your opinion is in the comments below. Uh, once again, I apologize if there's going to be a few other, a few more days now without uh, videos, just because of the new year and all that. So yeah guys, uh, let me know what you think, please go like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and we will see you next time guys.